Next on Street Smarts, Fast Cars. An Alfa Romeo is a type of what? A type of dog. It's like an Italian dog, Alfa Romeo. Faster cops. What is a paddy wagon traditionally used for? Serving nasty food. It's a Street Smarts road trip. Indianapolis is the capital of what state? Michigan. Arizona. Washington. Street Smarts. Think you've got them? Find out now. I'm Frank Nicotero, and for the next half hour, you belong to me. So listen up, people. You think quads like these grow on trees? I don't know. I do marathon treks across this country searching for winners who want to give me 110% and answer my questions. Then I power walk back to the studio. I power walk back to the studio where two competitors must crunch their brains to bet which of our Anview Avenue athletes. I'm so excited I'm going so fast. Our Avenue athletes felt the burn, and who didn't even break a sweat? So let's check out the starting blocks right here. We have Lisa right there. Yeah. And Jermaine right there. Jermaine. Oh, no, 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 so what do you do in Dallas? Well, I'm a, uh, I just finished up at truck driving school. I'm a truck driver now. What do you like to do on a weekend? What's a good time for you? Probably go shoot some pool, go bowling. How good of a bowler are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. What you doing later on? Bowling with you. Oh, cool, baby. That's the day. That's right. You watch Street Smarts. You've seen the show, right? You know there's two contestants there in the studio. What's your advice for them? Say, baby, look here. If you want the number one, you need to pick me, because if you don't, you're going to lose. <laughs> All right, and Chelsea revealed her most prized asset. Asset! So Chelsea, what's your nickname? Spoon. Why do they call you Spoon? Because I swallowed a spoon when I was four years old. You swallowed a spoon when you were four years old, and then what happened on your 16th birthday? My mom made a ring out of it. We see the ring, she made a ring. That's the handle of the spoon you swallowed. So Spoon, what do you like to do for fun? Skate, drum. All drummers do wipeout, don't they? So Chelsea, you have one kid? Yes. And what's, what's his name? Caden Saver. And you actually have it, and you have it tattooed right there? I sure do. Now Chelsea, I, I, I signed something for you, you know. That's my signature. It's the first time I'd ever done that. And the last, you better not cheat on me. Oh, nice! <laughs> Finally, Katina showed me a range of emotions. <laughs> so Katina, where are you from and what do you do for a living? I am from Monroe, Louisiana. I'm a personal financial advisor and stockbroker, and I'm an actress on the side. Show me an embarrassing look. Okay. Show me horror. <laughs> Show me laughter. <laughs> Show me confused. <laughs> so you play the flute? Yes, I play the flute. Did you ever go to band camp? Yes, I went to band camp. One time at band camp? I was happy that I got first chair. There you go. That's the best thing to do, get first chair, right? Yes. <laughs> well, at least you saw American Pie. All right, bust out your headbands, people, because your brain might work up a sweat in our first round. Who knew it? I asked all of you the same question. You guys have to figure out who got it right. Rocking your choice, the correct answer is your $100. Let's move. The first question I asked to Trey, Chelsea, and Katina. What was the first animal in space? Hmm. Who knew it? What do you think? Think it was Trey, Chelsea, or Katina? Tell me the first animal in space. And you're both locked in. And let's see here. You think uh, Trey knows, huh, Jermaine? I think Trey knows because he looks like a smart cat. All you right. You know, he went to Alabama. Okay. Whatever. Arkansas, Alabama. Uh, Arkansas. Uh, what was the first animal in space? A monkey. See, I thought it was a monkey too. You know what? It's actually it's a dog. Wait. A Russian bitch named Leka. They send that bitch in, uh, in space before they send a monkey? Yes. Oh, no, monkey? no, you know what you mean? I know. It's a lot monkey. of monkey. No, I know. No. Lisa, you think Katina will get the right animal? Yeah, oh. you know, I, she's in financial analyst. She sounds like she's a smart girl. She's got some good emotions. Let's though. check it out, Lisa. What was the first animal in space? The first animal in space was a dog. It was a dog. Yes. You know what? You know what country it was from? Uh, it was from Russia. That is. I'll tell you what. I will lose my mind if you can tell me the name of that dog. The name of the dog is Spot. <laughs> she got it right. That is a correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. I know. All right. Here's the next question. Feet. Next question. If someone sends you a letter with S W A K on the envelope, what does S W A K stand for? 
So go ahead, guys. Tell me, who do you think knew that one up there? Was it Trey, Chelsea, or Katina? Can tell me the answer to that one? Oh, man, just forget about the last question. We're moving on. It's all good. All right. All right. All right you're both locked this. in. You think Chelsea knows, huh, Lisa? I do. Okay. I think Chelsea, she knows she's, she's got the attitude going. She's got to know this I agree. Let's find out. If someone sends you a letter with S-W-A-K on the envelope, what does S-W-A-K stand for? Filled with the kiss. I didn't know that. This must be a, this a girl thing, right? When you're smooth. Don't put it on a letter, man. Why not? It's, it's nice. Gay. It's sweet. No. Love is a four-letter word. Like <laughs> If someone sends you a letter with S-W-A-K on the envelope, what does S-W-A-K stand for? Swack means, um, let the letter get there in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, that's a wrong answer, Jermaine. Don't oh, worry, we got one more oh. this round. Let's get you some money on this one. What movie character said, I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is? So who do you think knew that one? Do you think it was Trey, Chelsea, or Katina? Jermaine, we're trying to get you that elusive first hundred dollars. Lisa's you. going for a perfect Feel score. You. So lock in when you guys come in. And you're both locked in. You're both going with Trey. Jermaine, Trey will know this? Well, he didn't know the last one, but uh, he'll get I this. think you'll get this uh, one right. Lisa, you agree? Yeah. I'm guessing. Okay. <laughs> what movie character said, I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is? I have to say, Ed and Adam Poe. Who? Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe? Mm-hmm. It's a movie character. It was Forrest Gump. He said that. Life's like, like a, a box, box of chocolates. chocolates. Why? <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> I'm sorry, you both had Trey. That is not Come a right Trey. Chelsea had it. <laughs> what movie character said, I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is? Forrest Gump. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Remember when Forrest just ran like crazy? It runs like the wind, blah. It runs like the wind. Oh, God. <laughs> run, Forrest, run! <laughs> nice landing. Thank you. I love Chelsea. All right, let's recap the scores here. Jermaine, you don't have any money right now, but it's early. That's okay. Lisa's got $200. Okay. Next up, find out who considers thinking an aerobic activity when six months return. What do you traditionally ask when flipping a coin to decide something? Heads or tails, man. What do you usually go with? Tails. Because it never fails. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And I signed it. Exactly. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Street Smarts. Let's meet our two in-studio contestants. We got a couple good ones. We have the lovely Lisa here. She's from San Diego, California, personal trainer. And uh, you were in Spain once, and tell me this funny story. I was, you know, walking down the street, big group of people around, really didn't know what was going on. Took a step back to see it tripped over a post in the ground and fell right into the lap of a woman. Ooh. Camera's going everywhere. The president of Iceland, I just oh decided to. Oh my God, to very nice. Fall right into her lap. Did you actually okay. recognize her or did someone tell you uh, No, my friend was Icelandic that I was with yeah, and was two Swedes say. and they were just. Like, you're going to go, oh my God, the president of Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. we got Jermaine here. He's from Compton, California. He's in a construction. You were working on a house one time. It was a b bizarre smell. Yeah, and uh, you know my my friend got the brilliant idea to go up under the house yeah. and check it out. It happened to be a skunk, and it sprayed him. You know ah. what I'm saying? So it, when he came back in, it was kind of like hanging out with Pepe Le Pew. You oh know my what God! Saying? What? He was hitting on you with a bad French accent, like Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's recap the scores here. Uh, Jermaine, you don't have any money right now, but Lisa's got two hundred dollars. So who needs to do one of stretches just money. to think? In Let's find pocket. out now in our next in round. Who blew it? All right, same question, only two at a time. You guys have to figure out who got it wrong. Lock in your choice, and a correct guess earns you $200. Plus, there's the dunce cap right there. It can only be used yeah. once this round. When you think your opponent does not know the answer, buzz in and dunce, dunce them. If they're wrong, you get 200 bucks. If they're right, they get 200 bucks. Like a PO'd personal trainer, the cap can make you do 10 more reps. So be careful. <laughs> At least it was a personal trainer. All right, here's the first question I asked to both Chelsea and Katina. Name two of the four suits in a standard deck of playing cards. So who blew it? Do you think it was Chelsea or Katina? Couldn't do it. What do you think? Oh my God, you've been done. Jermaine, throw the cap up on Lisa's head. Lisa, I'm going to ask on. a question to get you a five seconds answer. Name two of the four suits in a standard deck of playing cards. Hearts and spades. Way to go. There you go, Lisa. You got it. She blocked it, Jermaine. She's up to 400 bucks. All right. Well, what do you guys think? Who blew it? So who blew it up here, Chelsea or Katina? Lock in as soon as you can, guys. Jermaine, we'll get you some money soon, I promise. All right, <laughs> uh, you're both locked in here. Let's see. You think uh, Katina blew it, huh, Lisa? I do. I do. You know, she just she knows a lot of book stuff. She doesn't seem to know a lot of other stuff. Let's take a look. Name two of the four suits in a standard deck of playing cards. 
club and That's spades. Clubs and spades, there you go. <laughs> you got it right, Lisa. I'm sorry, looks like Jermaine's on the board because Chelsea blew away to go, Jermaine. <laughs> Name two of the four suits in a standard deck of playing cards. Kings, jacks, aces, and clubs. Yep. <laughs> she blew away to go, Jermaine. She There's that two right here. Nice job, buddy, on the board. All right, here's the next question to Trey and to Chelsea. I asked both of them. Indianapolis is the capital of what state? <laughs> so who do you think blew it? One of them blew it, didn't know what uh, state Indianapolis was the capital of. And lock in as quickly as possible. And you're both locked in. Now, you think Chelsea blew it, huh, Lisa? Yeah, you know, I just, I don't know about her. She's okay. got some weird All right, ideas, I don't know. So. let's see if we can get you 200 bucks. Indianapolis is the capital of what state? M Michigan. Oh. Yep. I've been there twice. Indianapolis, Michigan? Yep. Indianapolis, Arizona. Washington? <laughs> she blew away to go, Lisa. Lisa, that's for you. you Trey actually got it right, Jermaine. Check it out. Indianapolis is the capital of what state? Indiana. Right. How many states do we have? Fifty. Fifty? Fifty states. Okay. Fifty, nifty, United States. Oh, don't sing the whole song. Oh, oh what? <laughs> what? All right, Jermaine, whatever, whatever. Whatever. you got that right. Trey knew it. All right, here's a question I asked to Trey and to Katina. I showed both this card and asked them to pronounce this word. So who blew it? Who couldn't do that? Couldn't pronounce that word? Trey or Katina? If you tell me I get 200 bucks, Jermaine, you need some money here, so lock in with the correct answer. Are right, you both locked in? You think Trey blew it, huh, Lisa? Definitely. There's no chance he got this. All one. right, let's find out. Trey, pronounce this word. Chinch. 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 What is it? Part of your chin. That, that question was easy. Yeah, it was very easy. Cinch. Yeah. Way to go, Lisa. He blew it. He went to Charlie. I'm sorry. Katina actually knew that answer. All right, let's recap the score. Jermaine, don't worry. You're on the board fine. You got 200 bucks, but Lisa's got $800. You know what's a real cinch? Answering questions correctly for money. And those questions are worth $300 when we come back. What do you traditionally ask when flipping a coin to decide something? Heads or tails? Uh, what do you usually? Usually people stick with one and always, always go with it. I usually go for heads. I usually go for tails. Tails never fails. There's no <laughs> rhyme for heads. It ain't gotta be. Head is the best thing going. Back to you, Frank. <laughs> <Good studio. laughs> Welcome back. It's time to jockey into position for our third round. Hit your pony, ladies and gentlemen. Each of you will choose one contestant for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three yeah. questions. Correct predictions were $300, and the dunce cap is back. It's worth 300 bucks. You can only use it once. Yeah. Recap of the scores. Jermaine's got 200 bucks, and he's doing a lot of smash talking. And Lisa's got 800 bucks in the league. For the player who's trailing, choose the first, Jermaine, that's you. So who would you like to ride to victory? I'm going to ride Trey. Going with Trey? All right. My friend. Lisa, how about you? I'm sticking with Chelsea. You're going with Chelsea? I'm going with Chelsea. Go ahead, push your button. Make sure. Okay, Chelsea. All right, Jermaine, here's your first question to Trey. Imitate the sound a whoopee cushion makes. Do you think he got that right or wrong, Jermaine? What do you think? Trey had to get that right, man. I, he had to. All right, let's see Come if we on. get you 300 bucks. Come on, Trey. Imitate the sound a whoopee cushion makes. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> what does this show become? You <laughs> got it right, let it go, Jermaine. Good by sure, you're up to $500. You're within striking distance now. All right, Lisa, the first question I asked to Chelsea. Sapporo, Asahi, and Kieran are all brands of what? What do you think? Think she got that right or wrong? I think she definitely drinks that, but I think she might get this one. Oh, all right, Lisa, see if you can open up a lead here. Sapporo? Asahi and Kieran are all brands of what? Bras. What kind of bras? Yeah. What bra are you wearing right now? Mm, a gel bra. They feel great. A gel bra? Yeah, you want to feel it? Nah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she got it all. Way to go, Lisa. Three hundred bucks, six hundred, eleven hundred dollars. They're all um, I don't know. Help me. They're all beer. Beer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Here's the next question I have to trade for you, Jermaine. In a popular kids series. Thomas the Tank Engine is a talking what? What do you think? Oh, he went dodge! Throw it up there, Jermaine. Throw the cap on Lisa. Lisa almost went for it. Back down, so the pressure's on. I'm going to read the question. You have five seconds, Lisa. In a popular kid series, Thomas the Tank Engine is a talking what? Train? It's the right answer. Oh, my God. She totally blocked her dodge, Jermaine. I'm sorry, buddy. She gets a train of 
She's holding up a lid here, but Jermaine, you can get that 300 bucks back if you tell me what Trey did, man. Trey, you need this one. <laughs> Trey don't know this, man. Trey don't know this. Uh, well, let's not <laughs> In a popular kids series, Thomas the Tank Engine is a talking what? Talking Trey. Talking Trey. How do you know that? I've seen that show. Oh, I'm sorry, cool. buddy. He, uh, he knew oh. that one. He knew the talking train. All right. Work, Lisa, boy. you can open up a really big lead here in this next question to Chelsea. Uh. In Alice in Wonderland, the Cheshire cat is known for what facial expression? Oh. Do you think Chelsea got this right or wrong? What do you think? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with right. I don't know why. I just think, you know, she watches movies. All right, let's take a look, Lisa. In Alice in Wonderland, the Cheshire cat is known for what facial expression? The smile. There you go. Give me a big smile. Big smile. Hurt yourself. No, it's good to smile, man. <laughs> Especially if you got all your teeth. She rocks. Oh, Why did I lose the right answer? You're up to seventeen hundred dollars, Jermaine. Right now, you only have five hundred bucks. You need this last one from Trey. I asked Trey, an Alfa Romeo is a type of what? What do you think, buddy? <laughs> He don't know that. Okay. <laughs> Let's check it out. I don't think he An knows Alpha that. Romeo is a type of what? A type of dog. Type of dog? Yeah, type of fast dog. Alpha Romeos? I heard they were. Like an Italian dog, Alpha Romeo. Yeah. What's that mean probably, translated from Italian, Alpha Romeo? Real fast dog. You got it wrong, Jermaine, that's wrong. It's a type of car in Alpha Romeo. You're up to 800 bucks. All right, Lisa, last question of the round All for right. you to Chelsea. What is a paddy wagon traditionally used for? What do you think? Do you think Chelsea got this right or wrong? I'm, I'm going really to go league. with wrong again. I think she probably has experienced something like that, but I just don't think she knows <laughs> oh, what oh, oh, oh. What is a paddy wagon traditionally used for? Serving nasty food. Serving food? <laughs> food. In That's the wrong way. answer. Way to go, Lisa. You're like three bucks. The correct answer transports prisoners. People have committed crimes. All, all right, let's it's recap the scores. My goodness, Thanks, Jermaine, you got 800 bucks, but wow, $2,000 for Lisa. That's almost as high as you can get in this round. When we return, Lisa and Jermaine will be making a final prediction on a question I asked to Trey, Chelsea, and Katina. I asked them, Julia Child is famous for writing what kind of books? Winning comes from years of discipline, hard work, and pushing it to the limit in... The Wager Suck it up, people! Welcome back, Lisa and Jermaine. Listen up. And during the break, you both secretly chose a person, predicted if they would get the question right or wrong, and then you made a wager not to exceed your total. Now, Jermaine, 800 bucks. Lisa, $2,000. I'm going to miss my chest watching appointment if we don't hurry up, so let's go. Now, here's a question I asked to Trey, Chelsea, and Katina. Julia Child is famous for writing what kind of books? So let's get your choices. Lisa, you got a big lead here, $2,000. You want to see Katina. I do. All right, Jermaine, how about you? 800 bucks, trying to make a big comeback. You want to see... Trey, all right. Well, nobody uh, picked Chelsea. We're going to say see you later, Chelsea. And uh, you were awesome, and thanks for letting me sign your thing. All right. <laughs> so that means, Jermaine, we're starting with Trey right now. We're going to see if you can make a comeback and win this thing. Let's check it out. Julia Child is famous for writing what kind of books? Julia Child, children books. What, children books? Children books. That's a wrong answer. Now, Jermaine, you went with Trey. He got it wrong. What did you say? You said he would get it? Wrong, ah! Jermaine, how much did you wager of your $800? You wager, let me guess, all of it, baby. Takes him with $1,600. He's putting the heat on you, Lisa. Let's watch Katina's clip. <laughs> Julia Child is famous for writing what kind of books? Julia Child wrote uh, some children's books. Okay, that's also a wrong answer. The correct answer is cooking books. Julia Child cooking books. Ooh, 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 you know, she talked. Okay, all right. So you went with Katina, Lisa. I did. She got it wrong. What did you say? Oh, you thought she'd get it right. All right, Lisa. If you wagered less than 400 bucks, you're our winner. So what did you wager? You wagered $399. That's pushing down to $1,601. You win by a dollar. Oh, my goodness. Thanks for playing with us. What did we learn today? Today's not so smart moment was Chelsea thought Indianapolis was the capital of Michigan. No way, Arizona. No way, Washington. It's Indiana. Bye-bye. Julia Child is famous for writing what kind of books? Cookbooks. Guys, cookbooks, very good.